Hi, and welcome to Skills for Health. We'll begin with Unit 1 and discuss what is health. This week we're going to be working on defining health, naming the components of health, and listing the top health concerns in the United States. Take a few moments right now to consider what exactly is health. When I think about the word health, several images come to mind. What are some images that come to your mind when you think about the word health? I think of sugar-free items. I think of working out. I think about eating fruits and vegetables and not having many carbs at all. In this unit, you will also learn about the differences in physical health, mental and emotional, and social health. You will also look at the major health concerns in the United States today. Many of these will be familiar to you, such as issues with weight gain and loss, using tobacco products, alcohol, other drugs, and the many diseases we as humans must face. So again, what is health? The common sense meaning of health might refer to the avoidance of sickness or injury, but it is more than that. Think about it. What else would be involved in health? Well, it is a bit more complex. Health is a combination of physical, mental, emotional, and social well-being. Health encompasses everything from biological aspects of the body to understanding emotions, to eating right, to assessing risks, to having healthy relationships with others. The big three. Health is a combination of physical, mental, emotional, and social well-being. Let's talk about physical health first. Physical health is the overall condition of a person at a given time. This includes being free from disease or abnormality or being capable of dealing with the demands of daily living. Are you physically healthy? In order to maintain or protect your physical health, you can eat healthy, exercise at least 60 minutes per day, get 8 hours of sleep, visit your doctor and dentist regularly, avoid alcohol, tobacco, and other drugs, and abstain from sex. Also, avoid activities that pose potentially negative health risks. Mental and emotional health. Mental and emotional health is the condition of a person's mind and the ways that a person expresses feelings. How do you protect your mental and emotional health? Well, enhance your sense of self or how you feel about yourself, your self-esteem. Understand your emotions and express them in healthful ways. Practice stress management and learn to make responsible decisions. Social health? Social health is a condition of a person's relationships with others around them. How do we maintain or protect our social health? Well, you can practice effective communication skills, including active listening skills, which you'll learn about soon, refusal skills, how to say no, and conflict resolution, resolution skills. Respect others and develop healthful relationships. Risk. A risk is a chance a person takes without knowing what the outcome will be. You're probably already aware of some of the more obvious risks in life, such as the negative effects associated with using tobacco. Tobacco such as cigarettes, um, chewing tobacco, hookah, and things of that nature. Cigars. There are also some less obvious risks that many people aren't aware of. A less obvious risk, eating an unhealthy diet can result in being overweight or obese or in developing heart disease, cancer, stroke, diabetes, and high blood pressure. Insufficient physical activity can also result in being overweight or obese or in developing heart disease, high blood pressure, and osteoporosis. Some more or less obvious risk, insufficient physical activity can result in being, again, overweight or obese 
or in developing heart disease, high blood pressure, and osteoporosis. It was so important I had to put it in there twice. Using drugs and alcohol can result in family and social problems, violence, and chronic diseases such as cancer and cirrhosis. Not wearing a seatbelt can result in physical injury or death if a car crash occurs. Unprotected sex can result in pregnancy, HIV infection, AIDS, and sexually transmitted diseases. Do you know the top 10? Take a few minutes and think about it. What do you think are the top 10 concerns in the United States today? Try to list at least three. You can pause the recording while you do so. If you said physical activity, overweight and obesity, tobacco use, substance abuse, sexual behavior, mental health, injury and violence, environmental quality, immunization, or access to health care, you're right on target. So now, can you make changes in your personal health behavior that relates to one of the leading health indicators? Well, your answer should be yes, because you are in control of your health. Please complete these assignments below by the end of the week. What is health? Quiz 1. The 7 skills 1. The seven skills too. You are not responsible for any discussions in this classroom. You are also not required to complete any explores, practices, or journals. However, if you do complete them correctly, you will be granted extra credit. Thanks for joining me today. You can record your attendance using this link http colon forward slash forward slash tinyurl.com forward slash hs class recordings the secret word is doctor completing this simple step will let me know that you are actively participating in your Skills for Health class. Again, thanks for joining me. See you soon. Your teacher, Alistair Harris-Turner.